So number one, um, what we want to look at here is what is the production possibilities frontier? Or what we'll call the PPF. Okay, so a PPF it basically captures the maximum possible production given a country's resources. So with that said, what we could do is we could imagine resources being any number of things, like number of people, size of land, the technology that we have, um, uh, the type of government that we have. Well, we can imagine a country having certain kinds of things. And the question comes into how do we convert it into an output of products, right? What happens when the country converts this to this? Well, if we graph that out with two different products, we start to see the PPF. So what we need to do here is to choose two outputs. Um, I'm going to make it relatively simple here. Um, let's go with calculators and call this our quantity of calculators. And then over here, let's have our quantity of um, cars, let's say. So here we have cars and calculators. We're going to start off by drawing what's called a linear PPF. As the term implies, it's going to be a straight line. And it will look like this. Now what this means is that um, a country has mm, several kind of options here. It could produce At point A, basically they're just focusing on making um, calculators. So it would be one option. They could devote all their resources to just making calculators. At B, they kind of split it between the two different outputs. And at C, it's all cars. Now, what becomes important to understand is what is the trade-off between calculators and cars? How many calculators do I have to give up to get an additional car, or vice versa? That here is going to tell us what the trade-off is. And what we're going to see here is that what we're trying to understand is the opportunity cost, which is measuring this trade-off. It's measuring what we give up. And more specifically, it is our highest valued alternative foregone. Basically, what did we give up? Now what we can see along a linear PPF, along a linear PPF, the opportunity cost is constant. That's not always going to be the case. What you're going to see here is that in um, the third video, in bullet point number three for this um, agenda, we're going to see that linear PPFs are only one possibility, that there are in fact three total possibilities. So as we go from A to B, what we can see here is that we would have fewer calculators, but more cars. Right? As we go from A to B, we would have fewer calculators and more cars. What we need to add to this now are some numbers. So I'm just going to make up some numbers here just to uh, motivate this a little bit further. Let's say that at A, I'm at 500 calculators 
and I'm obviously at zero cars. At B, I'm at 250 calculators and let's say, um, I don't know, uh, let's just make the math relatively simple here, 25 cars. So, I gave up 250 calculators to gain 25 cars. So, what we can see here is that that ratio between the two is that one car is 10 calculators. That's my measure now of my trade-off, right? And I could look at my trade-off in the opposite way, right? I could understand my trade-off in terms of calculators. And now, it would be a tenth of a car. This right here is my opportunity cost. My trade-off. What the sacrifice is. Here, by going from A to B, I gave up 250 cars. Or I'm sorry, 250 calculators. And I gained 25 cars. Gave up 250 calculators, gained 25 cars. Then I divided each side by common denominators, starting first with divide each side by 25. And I get that the sacrifice here is that one car requires a sacrifice or trade-off of 10 calculators. Then divide each side by 250. One calculator requires a trade-off of a tenth of a car. Those are my opportunity costs.